I'm about to tell you everything you need to be considering if you are thinking about joining a real estate team to make sure you are making the best decision for you. Let's go. What's up ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to my channel. I'm Brandon Peters and if you are interested in learning about the real estate market and growing your real estate business, hit the subscribe button down below so you never miss a video. So I've been in the real estate business for several years now and in that time I have been on several real estate teams. Let me tell you what my experience has been and what some of the benefits are of being on a real estate team. When you're on a real estate team, there is a certain level of structure and accountability that you're going to get that you wouldn't get if you were a solo agent. When you're on a real estate team, you essentially, you do have a boss, right? So if you decide you don't want to show up to work for a couple of days, they're going to be calling you saying, where are you? Why aren't you here? Why aren't you working? Where compared to being a solo agent, you may not have that, right? You're a solo agent. You are the boss at the end of the day. You can come and go as you please. No one's going to say no to you. But when you're on a real estate team, that is one of the benefits that I find is they are someone that holds you accountable to taking this job seriously and make sure that you succeed. Being on a real estate team, there's also a certain level of camaraderie. It's like being on a sports team, right? When one person fails, you all fail. When one person succeeds, you all succeed. And that's kind of what it's like being on a being on a real estate team. Everyone's there to ha they have each other's back and they're there to help each other grow. When I played hockey as a kid and I was having a rough game or maybe a rough practice, I had my teammates there for me saying, hey, what's going on? And, you know, try and lift me up and get me back on track and get my head in the right space. That's been my experience being on real estate teams is those days, you know, when I'm not feeling my best, I have my agents there to help bring me up and help get me back on track. Everyone really is like a family. And that's at least that's been my experience. That's how it was on my last team. There was a certain feeling of of, uh, of being a family on that team. Everyone really had each other's back. Everybody loved each other. We were all friends with each other. And we all hung out with each other as friends outside of work. It was really a great experience. And I knew I could rely on those guys. When we were succeeding, everyone was succeeding. If we were struggling, hey, you know what? We had each other to lift us up. Being in real estate, you are also going to need a mentor. I've explained that. I want to say in my first or second video that getting a mentor should be one of your first goals when getting in this business. Whether you join a real estate team or you are a solo agent, you need to get a mentor. That is the biggest regret I have when I hopped in this business. I hopped in at roughly 20 years old, 21 years old, I think, and no one could teach me anything. I knew everything. I didn't need your help. And guess where it got me three years later? I was in a position where I almost needed to get out of real estate. I wasn't making any money. The clients that I did have, they never liked me. They never had a good experience. They sure as heck weren't referring me to any of their friends or family. It was really rough for me and it didn't get better until I joined a real estate team and I got a mentor. Within 12 months of joining my first real estate team, I went from living at my mom's house behind on all my bills, my car about to get repossessed, to being on track with all my payments being on my own, having my own place, and building up a savings account. Safe to say that for me, joining that real estate team was a good decision. Those two mentors that I had were on me. They were there to make sure I was in the office nine to five every day. That was my schedule. That was the minimum. I was working every single weekend and they were there for me if I needed help and I had questions Saturday and Sunday. They would pick up the phone to make sure I succeeded. They were there to help keep my mind right and they were there to teach me you know how to sell and how to help someone buy and sell real estate i didn't know i had these these two mentors and it was the best decision i I've, I've ever made in my real estate career was getting these guys behind me but also having a mentor it's not all about learning about being a better real estate agent right so they are there in a lot to help you in a lot of other avenues in your life for me they were there for my mindset they were there to Heck, they were there for me to talk to me about my relationship problems that I was having. They were there as, as like father figures for me. They were there to teach me about money. They were te there to teach me about investing. They helped me gain confidence. They helped me get past fear. They helped me with my connection skills with other people. They have helped me in so many other ways outside of real estate. I'm so thankful for that because I would not be able to get that mentorship anywhere else. And the last pro that I have for being on a real estate team is the leads. So being in real estate, you know that the more leads you have, the better you're going to do. Being on real estate team, they do a lot of that work for you. They give you your own clients. So if you're new in this business, maybe you don't know how to prospect. Maybe you don't know how to go out and find your own clients. Well, 
then maybe being on a real estate team is the right place for you because they do give you some clients and so that allows you to go out there, hit the ground running, showing property immediately when you get in the business and closing deals and making the money that you're hoping you, you wanna make your first year in the business. That's the pros, but I can't let you guys know only the good things about being on a real estate team. You know I have to let you know what the bad things are. When you join a real estate team, you are not a business owner. You work for someone else they are the business owner and they are that face. So you aren't marketing your company, you are marketing that agent's company. That agent had worked hard in his career, he was able to build a name for himself and build a brand, and so he brought you in to help him grow that brand and grow that business. So hey, you go out there, you close a deal, you maybe found a listing, and you wanna market yourself to that neighborhood, you can't do that. You have to market that team. The team got the listing, not you. So when you're sending out postcards, when you're sending out emails, when you're whatever you're doing to market your listing, market your name, that you're not marketing your name. You are marketing the business that you work for. So if you, you know, that could be a downfall that if you want to grow your business, hey, you can't really do that the same way you would if you were a solo agent. Now, us as people, we all have a certain level of creativity. And when you hop in the real estate business, you may want to get creative and think of some out of the box methods to get clients to grow your business. But you are not the boss of this team. You do not run it. So anything you do, you need to get it approved by the head of the team. And guess what? If that person does not like it or it doesn't line up with what they were trying to accomplish, they may say, no, you can't do it. And your guys' creative sides may be button heads. And you may feel like you're not growing individually. Now, the biggest pain of being on a real estate team is the commission. That is where a lot of the problems lie. Let me walk you through what a traditional commission split looks like when you are on a real estate team. For simple math, we're just going to say commission check is $10,000 even. Now, whether you're a solo agent or on a real estate team, there are people that get paid before you when that commission check comes in. The person that gets paid first is the company. Again, for simple math, let's just say that this commission split is 80-20, okay? So you get 80% of the total commission. So right off the bat, out of that $10,000, you walk away with 8,000, giving 2,000 to the broker, that 80-20 split that you have. Next person that gets paid is the team lead. When it's a real estate lead that the team lead gives you, that split is going to be 50-50. That's traditional, what, the tradi what, what a typical split is like on a real estate team. 50-50 for any leads that they supply you with. So we have $8,000, they're gonna take 50% of that, meaning you walk out with $4,000. Next on the list would be your transaction coordinator. If you use one, I pay my TC 300 bucks. So from $4,000, that would leave me with $3,700. Then the last thing we need to pay for, everybody's favorite expense, taxes. So right now we're left with $3,700 and let's say for simple math, we're gonna pay 20% in taxes of 3,700, meaning we walked out with $2,960 out of a gross commission of $10,000. Now, was it worth it to you? I can't make that decision. That's a decision for you to make for me. You know, at first it was fine, but as, my, as I started to grow as a person and, and as my business started to grow, that wasn't more that didn't really line up for me so i had to make some changes for me when i first joined a real estate team hey that that was great for me a little bit of money was better than no money <laughs> it's pretty much where i stood but as i grew you know my expenses started to grow and and walking away with 30 40 percent of my total commission just didn't make sense for me anymore and I had to go out on my own. Now, what do we make from all this? Should we really go for a real estate team or should maybe we just be a solo agent? Well, let me give you my advice on the matter. When I hopped in this business, my career immediately fell to the ground and it didn't pick back up again until I joined a real estate team. Having those two amazing mentors behind me really changed my life and really got my life back on track, heading the direction that I had been wanting it to go in for years. But when it came time to grow as a person, I felt like being on a team, I, I, I started not being able to grow at the level that I, that I knew I could if I st continued to stay on that team. So my thoughts would be, if you wanna be on a real estate team, it's not a bad idea. Do your own due diligence on the team. Make sure that this team is a good team. If they are, then join it, join it for your first year. Get that mentorship behind you. Learn what it's like to actually be a real estate agent. Have somebody coach you so you head directly in the right direction. Don't do what I did. I went the complete opposite way. So immediately, you know, you get on a real estate team, you're going to immediately be heading in the right direction towards your goals. Now, 
If it gets to that point where you're feeling like you're not able to grow, go out on your own. But being on a real estate team could be the perfect place for somebody who struggles with accountability, motivation, structure, and feels like they need and you know to feel like they're at a normal nine to five job. Being on a real estate team is gonna give you that. And once you feel like you've learned everything that you could, go out on your own. You're gonna make more money if you continue to prospect and you continue to do the things you need to do to grow your business. All right, guys, that's it for this video. Again, thank you so much for watching. If you wanna learn more about the real estate market and growing your real estate brand, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below so you never miss a video. Take care.